Hello everyone. We are reading chapter three that is subtraction of numbers, and today we will learn how to solve what problems related to subtraction. How to find out the what problem that based on subtraction. So few words are given in the subtraction that we if the words are given if if the words are uh, there in the question that we can come to know that this question related with the subtraction as you can say see in this notes that we we subtract when we need when we need so to find out how much is left okay in this term we are doing subtraction to find out how much less or more is one number than other so in this situation also we subtract to find out the difference between two number so in this situation also we subtract to find out a number which is less than another number by a given amount so in this situation also we are doing subtraction so here few more words few, few more words are also there like difference few left less needed remain subtract how much how many more etc if these words are there in the question that that question is related with the subtraction so now let's see here few questions so what problems on subtraction with three digit and four digit numbers are solved in the same way as subtraction with two digit number so how the way we are using a subtraction how the way we are doing subtraction is the same way just we need to frame just we need to write a sentence if the question is in a word okay so now see here ramesh has rupees 6295 Zara has rupees 2,595 less than Ramesh. How much money does Zara have? So here we will see, we will find out that how much lesser than Ramesh. So lesser is it? Lesser means less. So Ramesh has. So Ramesh has how much? 6,295, and Zara has less than 2,000 2,595. Nine, 2, so how much she has less? So Three thousand seven hundred Jara has. So Jara has how much? Three thousand seven hundred. So in this way. So and also one more thing. Whenever you are writing a, a sentence for the word problem, try to make it short. Don't make it too long. Just write to the point. Okay. Now, number two. An ice cream vendor sold five thousand seven hundred ice creams in June and two thousand eight hundred fifty in <coughs> ice creams in July. How many less ice cream did he sell in July than June? Now we have to find out how many less ice cream he sell in July than June. So ice cream sold in June, how much? So here five thousand seven hundred ice cream sold in July two thousand eight hundred fifty. So now we will do the subtraction and we will get the answer that he sold two thousand eight hundred fifty a less ice cream in July than. So in this way we will solve the problem. Now, this is in this in this situation only one step is there. Directly we are doing separation. We are getting the number. Now, now the next now the next example is related involving a two steps in a uh, separation. Two steps of word problem. Either we have to use addition also in some cases and some cases we have to use both separation also. Now let's see. So. is depends upon the question okay so 9420 people live in village 3310 people left the village and 1985 more people came in the came to live in the village now how many people are there in the village before it was how many how many people are there before it was 9420 people are there out of this 3310 people left the village so here we have to do in this question in this step in this first step we have to do subtraction so first step so people live in village so 9420 and people left so people left 3310 so number of people remain so how many people remain 6110 people remain in the village now what now see now what happen again now again 1,985 more people came to live in that village. Means now it remains 6,000, and again for 1,985 people came again came back to the village to live in the village. So now, so 
so number of people remain so 6110 people people came to village 1085 so here we have to do the plus because we have to find out the how many people are still there in the village so it's still 8095 people are there in the village got it so in this way we will solve it. involving two steps first steps and second step first step we did subtraction and another second step what we did addition so let's say one more question so now a library had 3900 books 1200 books got spoiled okay got spoiled means they are useless no use of that books now <coughs> library the library gave away 900 books how many books are there in the library now so before it was 3900 books out of the 1200 books are spoiled so the books books library had how much 3900 and how many books are spoiled so 1200 so how many books left so 2700 out of 2700 the library gave 900 books away so number of book left and books given away that is 900 so how many books are left still now 1800 books still left in the library got it so in this way we will solve this question now let's do our exercise so number 1 there are 8675 mango trees in the orchard and out of 2134 trees are cut down so out of 8675 2134 trees are cut down how many trees were left in the orchard so we have to find out that so first we have to write the total number of trees so total number of tree is 8675 and how many trees are cut down so 2134 now what we have to do left that means we have to do subtraction so 5 minus 4 1 7 minus 3 4 6 minus 1 5 and 8 minus 2 6 that means 6400 6541 book 41 trees left in the so 6541 books still left in the got it now next so a factory a factory manufactured 5000 436 watches it sold 1782 watches so how many watches were not sold how many watches were not sold means out of 5436 watches are there and out of that 1782 watches are sold so how many watches are not sold what we have to do subtraction so let's do it solution so number of wa number of manufactured watch manufactured watches watches is equal to 5436 then number of watches sold watches sold that is 1782 now number of number of watches not sold okay so what we have to do we have to do subtraction because we have to find out the number of watches left in the factory so 6 minus 2 is 4 3 minus 8 we cannot do because 3 is bigger so we will borrow one from here so 13 minus 8 is 5 again here 3 left so 3 minus 7 we cannot do so we will borrow one so 13 minus 7 is 6 and here 4 minus 1 is 3. so therefore 3654 
where not okay so this is how we have to do got it now next amit had rupees 6270 sudhir had 3920 less than amit okay sudhir has less than 3000 920 out of 6270 so how much money did sudhir have so sudhir had solution okay sudhir sorry not sudhir amit 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 had rupees Six thousand two hundred seventy. Sudhir had less than. Sudhir had had less than three thousand nine hundred twenty. So. This subtraction less so zero five two minus nine we cannot do so we will borrow one from here so twelve minus nine is three and here five minus three is two so Sudhir has Sudhir Sudhir has rupees two thousand three hundred fifty. Okay, two thousand three hundred. Okay. <coughs> Next, number four. There were. Now see this question. Okay, keep it in mind. So there were eight thousand five hundred students in a school. Total eight thousand five hundred students are there in school. Five hundred students left the school. And 398 more students join the school. So, how many students are there in are there in the school now? So, before it was 8,500, and out of 8,500, 500 students left. So, first we will find out the number of people left after the after leaving the school. Okay. So, solution, and here we have to use two steps. So, okay. So. Step one: number of students. So you write the total number of students. Total number of students in. A school so equal to eight thousand five hundred. Then number of students students left. The school is 500. Okay, so number of students remain in the school is. Zero 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 and eight eight thousand students still left in the school. Now again three hundred ninety eight more students joined the school. So step two. Step two. So number of number of students. Remain 
in the school in the school is 8000 number of student join number of student join is equal to 398 so what we have to do addition okay plus so <coughs> number of student so here 8 9 c 8 so there, there are there are 8,398 students in the school. Got it? So in this way we will solve. Now, so now question number 5. So a bookshop had 9,450 books. It sold 4,220 books in one month and 2,910 books in the next month. How many books are left in the book shop? So, let's do it. Solution Step 1. Okay. Total number of Total number of books equal to is equal to now question number 6 9500 people came to the fair in the morning by the afternoon 2000 people left by by the evening so 1600 more people came how many people were at the fair in the evening so we have to find out the number of people in the fair okay you know what is fair now so before it was 9500 and 2000 people left by evening again in the evening 1600 more people came so how many people were at the fair okay so let's do here also here also two steps so step one step one so what we have to do so total number total number of people number of people in the in the in the fair in in morning okay so 9500 so number of people left the fair by evening that is 2000 so number of people people remain in the fair that is zero zero three and seven seven thousand three hundred people still left in the fair now step two step two so number of people remain in the fair 
equal to 7300 then number of people came in pair in the evening evening that is 1600 now do addition 0, 0, 9, and here 8. So, in the evening, in the evening, in the evening, there were, there were 8,900 people at the Okay, so this is it. So now you came to know how to solve the question involving two step and one step. So everyone do practice. Okay, thank you everyone.